Gods come and gods go. Mortals flicker and flash and fade. Worlds don't last. Stars and galaxies are transient, fleeting things that twinkle like fireflies and vanish into cold and dust. But when the first living thing drew breath, he was there, waiting, with his siblings. The Endless. When the last living thing has left this universe, their task will be done. His realm is the dreaming, the world of sleep and imagination. He is Dream, Lord Morpheus, and he must learn to change or die. Hello, I'm Steve. And I'm Matthew. And we do Audio Book Club. We claim to be the world's only interactive audiobook review and recommendation podcast. But I'd take that with a pinch of salt if I were you. What we definitely do do, though, is review and recommend audiobooks that we think are worthy of those audible credits that you find rattling around. Uh, we've also been known to flag exclusive interviews uh, with superstar authors like indie pop rock piano thumping legend Ben Folds. And... Ben Aronovich, the author of the Magic Infused Police series, Rivers of London, or is that Police Infused Magic series? It's and both. Up until this point, we've only been a podcast. Um, we'll always make an audio-only podcast. Well, basically, because we think that's what people who like audiobooks enjoy. But now we've come to YouTube to seek fame and riches. Uh, and we've built a website, audiobookclub.net. And it's got a forum. Because it's 1999. I mean, you could have suggested yeah, a message board. Hey, everybody, <laughs> like us on CFAX. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I wanted a way that people could interact and suggest the next books. I am not the tech serving guru that you are, Mr. Phillips. So it was the best solution I could find. And you never know, it might work. But ultimately, we'd like to get you involved uh, in the conversation, perhaps uh, to recommend an audiobook. Or indeed to tell us about one we need to avoid, like the plague. And if you find that the comment section below in this YouTube video or our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, don't offer you what you need in terms of the room and the space to speak your mind, uh, then you can head over to the Audiobook Club forums uh, using the link in the description below uh, or the pinned comment. It might work. So <laughs> stop making fun of me. It might work. It might, it might work. It might work. So, uh, so we're going to need a book to review. That we've got everything. We've got everything in place. We've we've talked about channel first. Now it's time to talk about the content because that's the right order, isn't it? So uh, we need uh -huh. a book to talk about, Matt. What have you got for us? Well, we're not straying very far from our com comfort zone on the first one, Steve. Um, we recently did Ben Aronovich's Rivers of London series, which is a, a, a white, middle-aged English person writing science fiction books that creep into a nether world, but have foundation in, in our time and universe as we are at the moment. Um, we're going to do that again. We're going to go for Neil Gaiman's Sandman. But... There's a reason for that, and that is it's possibly the most important, certainly the most expensive audiobook recorded in the last few years. An expensive audiobook? Yeah, okay, all right. So uh, let me put it this way. Um, uh, the people misuse the words epic and immersive these days, right? In terms of scale, this thing is immense. It starts before the beginning of time and goes to after the end of the universe. Um, but the cast, get this, let me read you some names, my friend. Uh, Riz Ahmed, Taryn Edgerton, James McAvoy, Andy Serkis, he's not cheap, Michael Sheen. <laughs> not as cheap as he was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so basically I, I can't imagine what it must have cost to uh, put this production together and on top of that you've got full orchestration, full sound effects uh, I, I, I'm 
flabbergasted at the amount of resource that's been put into it. Normally, it's some bloke sitting in the cupboard under a duvet reading a book. This one, they've gone all out, and I should imagine it was probably like herding cats getting all those people to record their, their parts. And it, it is. It's great. It's brilliant. Dirk Mags, of course, you know of, of old. Yeah, his connection to hitchhikers and so off, uh, so so off, so off, so forth. Um, how, was he have something to do with um, Dirk Gently as well? So basically, yeah, he is. If you want to have a world constructed in sound in a science fiction context, he is the man to go to. He is the the sensei, the guru, the legend, and uh, constantly winning awards. As you say, uh, producer of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I believe. I think he did a lot of work with your friends at Big Finish, who Doctor Who. It was still very much in our comfort zone here, Steve. We, yeah. we need to leave it. Two, um, two white yeah, guys he, talking he, about sci-fi. Another YouTube video <laughs> about that. Is there any of that on the internet, Steve? <laughs> uh, yeah, so let, let's move on. We're not. We're talking about audio books and we're talking uh, about important audio So to give you the rundown, um, if you don't know, and I didn't, uh, it's based on the first three volumes of the 10-volume graphic novel series uh, written by Neil Gaiman, published by DC Comics uh, for seven years from 1988. Uh, it's interesting, on the Audible website, the summary says, and this is all it says, so if, like me, you, you don't know what it is, please note the content is not for kids. It is for mature audiences only. Just like the original graphic novels, this audio adaptation contains explicit language and graphic violence, as well as strong sexual content and themes. There's a clear the reason both. here, the clear reason why they put that description in first, isn't there? Because people go, oh, brilliant. Oh, download. Well, <laughs> now, it's funny you should say that, because one thing I haven't told you is we've been banned from Google Ads. <laughs> I think I mentioned that in an email to you at some point, but I haven't told you why. And I finally worked it out. It's because at the beginning of our Jack Reacher episode, we, you and I, used that very same trick. <laughs> so we put, at the front of it, this episode of Audio Book Club contains scenes of graphic violence. <laughs> and of course, Google's ad-checking algorithm doesn't have a sense of humour or a sense of irony. Uh, so yeah, we've been banned from advertising our podcast. We've been hot. There's a hole in our boat, Steve. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's if there's one place you want to be banned from, it's probably Google Ads because we can. There's lots yeah. of other ones out there, aren't there? Really, yeah. <laughs> great. Ah, uh, well, uh, I thought it was a great intro. Maybe we should write to Google in the strongest possible terms. Dear sirs, <laughs> I was both upset and disappointed. My dad thought. That. Do they have well, a points of view have... section? <laughs> what, so what you do is if you if you if you're ticked off with somebody, you write, "Sir, I am upset and disappointed." They're two very clever adjectives because you don't say you cross. Basically, the other person has let you down. So, dear sirs, Messrs. Google. <laughs> Messrs. Google. So I was most upset and disappointed. Uh, the only the uh, I have to ask the question, given the reason why we're writing this letter in the first place, is does the Google algorithm ban us from writing complaining letters based on starting a letter with "I was upset and disappointed"? Uh, I don't think it matters uh, as long as we stick to our guns, mate, and write it in blood. I think we're fine. That's it. Digital blood. <laughs> It'll be an email, won't it? It'll be an email, so digital blood. How how do you think this short introductory video is going, Steve? Well, we're 15 minutes in. I think it's, it's what people want these days. They want short and sharp, and they want that's why we have YouTube shorts. You and I could never yeah. make a, a TikTok or a YouTube, a YouTube short or anything like that because. Hey, um, get this. I'm going to make a damn kids reference. Swipe up. I'm saying, mate. Yeah. Well, Swiping up. Oh, so you yeah. don't even know what it is. Yeah. No, no, I was gonna, I was gonna Micro I, podcasting is the future, Steve. How are we doing? <laughs> yeah, very, very good. Very good. It's mm -hmm. it's going it's going well. It's going well. I like it. Um right. So you've got Can you do the envy bit now? I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll finish this off. Uh, do the envy bit. So gentle viewer, what? you have your instructions. Get yourself a copy of Neil Gaiman's Sandman. If you use uh, the Amazon affiliate links below, we may even get some sort of reward. Uh, you get involved with the conversation. What did you think about the book? Tell us 
speak your mind at uh, the comments below or via our Facebook, our Insta, our Twitter, using the hashtag Audio Book Club. Then join us on Sunday, the 12th of September, for the next episode of Audio Book Club. Oh, my, my gift is, is an egg. <gasps> Kane, it, so, something's... The, the egg. <laughs> it's not just any egg, you understand. <laughs> From the egg has hatched a baby gargoyle. It is all head and feet and crumpled little wings. It's, it's beautiful. I, I, I think I'll... I think I'll call him Irving. Irving. You can't call it Irving. Names for gargoyles always begin with a G, like Gaspacho, or Garmagon, or Gladstone, or Ganymede, or... Uh, where's the blasted poker? Damn you, Abel! Give me no... Ow, ow, I like her! Ow, 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 no, please! Please, oh, put the truck on it! Get the paint clip! Put the truck on it, please! You make me do it? You make me 